Noble gas configuration is the shorthand notation for electron configuration. Some of the smaller elements that we deal with, like say um, nitrogen for example, aren't too bad to write out. They don't take that long. But what happens when you end up with an element like iron that has 26 electrons? Well now you're starting to get into a much bigger element and much more to write out. Well how about say uranium that has 92? You need a shortcut in order not to have to write out every single orbital. That shortcut comes in the form of the noble gases. Noble gases have a full valence shell. Okay, so because they have a full valence shell, what that means is that this group right here actually finishes off the row. All of the elements in this group end in either NS2 or NS2 NP6, where N is the principal quantum, ener or principal quantum energy level. Now, helium is the one exception because it only ends in 2S2. But the rest of them end with S2P6, which means that a next higher energy level is going to start out. For example, neon ends in 2S2, 2P6. The next element to come along, sodium, is going to start out with 3S. So what we can do instead of writing out all of the stuff that comes before it is we can actually write out just the noble gas and use that as a substitute or a symbol. Right here is a chart of just how many electrons are represented by the symbol. And what we're going to actually do is we're going to take the symbol of the element and we're going to write it in brackets. By placing these in brackets what we're saying is that we have all the stuff that that noble gas has, all the electrons, Plus, we'll add on the extras. You can understand for an element such as uranium, why not writing all of this for radon would be beneficial to you. So let's take a look at an example. Here's your periodic table. And you could take any element, and this always works the same. Uh, let's go ahead and take selenium. Selenium is located right here. In order to write the noble gas configuration, you're going to start on your element, you're going to go up, and all the way to the right. The element that you land all the way on the right on is going to be your noble gas. And we're going to write that noble gas in brackets, argon. Now argon's atomic number is 18, which means it accounts for 18 electrons immediately. So instead of writing out 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, we're simply going to write the symbol argon. So immediately our 34 electrons is reduced by 18 leaving us with only 16 more to place. Now because argon ends the third row, what we're going to start out with is going to be the 4s, and that's going to kick us off right here. NES can hold 2, taking that off of our total, we are at 14. After the 4s comes the 3d. The 3d, line any d, can house 10 electrons. Take that off of our total and we're left with 4. Finally, we go to the 4P, and we have 4 left to go into what can hold 6. Another way of making this a little bit simpler on yourself, and one way to always figure it out, the, the S block is this group here. The P block is located over here. The D block here in the middle. And the F block down here in the bottom. So if you were to want to double check yourself, you could say, okay, the selenium element is in the fourth period, it's in the P block, and it is the one, two, three, fourth one over. Now if you were to add these things up again, you get four plus ten plus two plus argon, which is representative of eighteen. And therefore you come up with thirty-four electrons or the element selenium.